Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So there's this video that I, I watched. I was actually getting ready to, you know, make videos. I made videos where I've explained that, you know, sometimes the best way I watch videos is I play it in the background while I'm doing something else. You know, I can just, you know, listen to it rather than sit down. I was actually listening to another video, but you know the way YouTube videos, one finish, another one starts playing after. And this uh, Daddy Freeze video came in. And the Daddy Freeze video, Daddy Freeze video played next. And um, there are some aspects of his video that I want to address. I've always said that, you know, a lot of the time we can learn from other people's stories. I have shared my own stories because I believe there are things people can learn from my story. And I have shared the story of other people, you know, celebrities or not only celebrities, as long as it's in the news or it's there on social media, always opportunity to discuss. And I always say what my opinions are. People can put their opinions in the comment section. The video that I listened to was a Daddy Freeze video where he spoke about him and his ex-wife. And I thought, you know what? If there is so much we can discuss in this video. We can discuss, you know, about this. So he was speaking about his ex-wife. Now, I'm going to say there's not, it's not everything he said that I agree with, right? But for example, he, he says stuff like, uh, because their mother is not uh, allowing him to see his children so he doesn't pay their school fees there was a way he phrased it right personally i would say in such situation the parent should when i say parent a father and mother because let me tell you nothing says that a mother shouldn't be paying school fees you understand because some people always think is the man's role to pay school fees the woman's role no both parents should pay school fees i believe that whatever parent that is not even the one that has custody you know should still pay school fees it's not something you do for the just this guy is listening to everything I'm trying to say. So it's not something you do for your ex, it's something you do for your children. That is how I feel about it. And one guiding principle for me is this I always ask myself, when my children grow up, whatever I have done when they were little or when they were younger, will I be able to defend? Will I be able to explain it to them? How would they you know sometimes we look at our children, our children, our children are gonna be grown men and women. When I say grown men in their 40s or whatever. How are we going to look back and be here? I'm happy how I handled situations. Let me put it like that. You know, although he has said that he would rather wait and apologize to them later. This is how personally I would do it. I would want to do it what I believe is the right way. Then I don't owe anybody ap apologies later. I would say it would be a nice thing to pay the school fees because you're doing it for your children. There was something else he said that uh, his ex-wife is not attractive to him. It's just funny. If, it's funny the way he said it because I was laughing the way he said it, it was the way he just was very blunt and you know he was like you know she was she's not attractive to him that his current wife is more beautiful than his ex-wife and stuff like that I personally would not compare like it doesn't mean you will not compare in your head but I wouldn't want to you know speak about my ex I personally do not think it's a nice thing to speak about your ex she may not be more beautiful than your current wife or whatever i feel like it's not necessary to discuss that because for me also is the area of respecting your children i feel like out of respect for the children it will not be nice to speak some things that are not nice about their mother's looks or you know stuff like that personally honestly in my situation there are some things i would never say about my children's father i've shared my story here and those of you that have watched it there are some things that not even even if not even if for nothing else for out of respect for my children there are some things i wouldn't even say now coming to the other side of this idea of because he was saying that um, she wouldn't let him see the children there was a day he went to meet the children at school and he she gave him only five minutes to see his children i'm like why five minutes and then i think he said he managed that's what he said right and i think he said he managed to get about 15 minutes with the children i think one of the things that i think advantages that i have is that i'm someone that grew up in a home where my parents split up and our mother was not allowed to see us and i can speak from my experience as someone that was the child or you know as the children how it felt because it's easy for two elephants to be fighting sometimes people forget that is the grass that would suffer you know why I even feel like I should discuss it more? Because I made a video recently about FFK not allowing his ex-wife to see her children. You know, some people like, you're very passionate, you're taking it personal. Maybe because I experienced it as a child and I know how much that did to us. I remember the first time my mother actually went away. And you know, it was so tough. Like, we were physically unwell, we were vomiting, we were sick. We had fevers and everything. There was nothing wrong with us. There was no diagnosis of a particular illness. 
But it was when I started doing nursing. When I came to Europe, I was doing nursing. And you know, here I'm a general nurse. You will have to have uh, two weeks experience of different areas of nursing. Uh, experience of psychiatric nursing, intellectual disability nursing, pediatric, midwifery. You have to have experience. And I remember my placement when I was in children's hospital. And they talk about how signs of depression in children. And then they spoke about unexplained illness can happen in children when they are depressed because that is how their body deals with their deep sadness and when i think back and i'm thinking maybe we were depressed as kids this thing affects children but sometimes parents are too you know i explained it in one of my videos and i said i believe that my parents energy were invested so much in the hatred for each other rather than the love of their children that is the area i really want to address focus your energy on the love of your children not on the hatred of each other i believe that my parents hatred for each other was more powerful than the love for their children when my own happened their father moved i shared the story those of you are going to see you can go check it out he left he you know he moved to another country right i personally i was i was worried for my children because i didn't want them to have the experience that i had i organized and took these children to the country where he lives to go visit him i didn't want to see him I didn't want to have anything to do with him, but I was more focused on the love and care for my children that I spent the money it took because I was more focused on the love and caring for my children above anything else. And I took them. Honestly, when I took them, you know, called him and let him know we're here, where he's going to meet us and stuff like that. He, he came to see them. And I remember when he said where he was going to come meet them, we could see him from afar. I was here and I just let the children. And I saw my children running happy to go meet him and that made me happy just seeing how happy my children were they went to meet him and when he finished he says when he's going to be done with them whenever he's finished i'll go meet and wait for the children and if you see how they run back oh, da, 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 and they start telling you this oh, da, 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 and that is i was happy for my children i did it for my children and i want this is the area i want parents to think about mothers and fathers and i think a lot of women do that I think, I think it happens mostly with, but some men do it too, because in my own case, my father, the other way around, it's not about you as the parents, it's about the children. They have rights to. That journey was not cheap. I was the one that bear the cost to myself. Every single cent of that journey was my financial, uh, what's it called, was my cost. But I did it for my children. If you do all of these things, you can't buy this time back. In the next 15 years, these children have missed out on their father or their mother, depending on the case. No matter how much you apologize to them tomorrow, you cannot give them back the last 15, how many years. There are some things you can't give people back. Those parents that are in those situations, look at me as someone that survived a situation like that and apply... This is going to make me emotional. <laughs> Use me as a postal child, someone that went through this parent fight and want parent not being available, you know, one parent not allowed to see the children. The same thing when people were talking about how passionate I was about a FFK story. I was passionate because I know how it felt for us as children when our mother was not allowed to see us. And don't let your children be the ones to come out like me tomorrow and share that story like I'm sharing my own story and sharing my own pain. After that visit, when we came back, it was actually my own children that said to me, you know, because I don't keep a lot. I don't keep things for my children. Financial aspect of it. And I explain. I let them understand, you know, stuff like that. And I explained to them that, let me tell you guys, it will be cheaper if your father came to visit you because it's the transportation of one person compared to me taking all five of us to go over to meet him. And it was even my own children that said to me, we don't do it again. It costs too much. If he wants to come and see, then he should come. That I shouldn't take them there anymore because they know. You see, I don't, my finance is something I'm very open to my children when it comes to finance. So even in the future, when they be like, okay, why did we not keep going, keep going? They would know that I, I, as a mother that was doing my best to raise them, that I did my best. When your children know your story, don't worry, your children will be the ones to tell the story. Those parents that are using their children as a battlefield, the damage they are doing, or a lot of mistakes parents are making, by the time they will realize it, it will be too late. You can't do it back. You can't fix it. I remember saying to my ex, I said, look, his father died. My father died ages ago. Then his father died. And the children mentioned it that his father died. I had a meeting with him. And I said to him in that meeting, oh, I heard your father died. I said, oh, sorry about that. And I said, would you give anything to see your father again? Oh, he said, why not? Of course, he would do anything to see his father again. And I said, me too. I would give anything to see my father again. And I said, but unfortunately for you and I, it's no longer possible. We cannot longer see our fathers. 
for my children their father is still alive but they don't see their father you know he comes to visit them once in a while maybe in a year once or twice and the thing is that he doesn't live that far away if he wants to visit them every month he can do it because if you book your flights ahead they can be very cheap right he has a family member here that he can stay with okay let's say every two months i personally will say once a month but he doesn't do it and you can't force it but i know that i'm not the obstacle he, they are available to him any day any time to visit there's nothing i can do you know i haven't got to the point where i said to him live in the same country they can stay here and stay there and i said because in the years to come you can't give them back i'm in their lives you know when I made the video about you know reasons why I want to quit YouTube and stuff like that I've seen some comments saying that uh, she's not spending time with her children uh, or neglecting her children I say, hey, where did this one come from? I was like where is this coming from? me let me tell you guys from day one because of my childhood I prioritize being present in my children's lives even when I finished my nursing school I made the choice to choose the area of nursing that I'm going to be in because I want to be an available parent that is why me, I don't do overtime. Because you know why? I don't want to be that absent parent. I want to be present parent. When they were even younger, I made sure that I wanted to be at the door when they step in, that I am someone, the first person they see. So when it comes to that, I don't, I don't joke with that. So so people are not saying, eh, she's neglecting her children. I say, we. And then I'm saying that my, my, my third child is 18. Does that not tell you a lot more? You know? I say, people are saying, so guys, I'm like, I don't know how some people listen, listen to somebody. I didn't even listen. Neglect <laughs> My children have gotten to the age where now even them will neglect you. <laughs> now even them. Now even them, the ones in college, the ones in university, they go to work, they go to school, and they go to work part-time. The traffic in my house is like this. They have gone past that stage. I don't know where that is coming from. She's like, I said I want to, you to, for myself. I want to stop you. I, when I said I wanted to stop you too, there are things I want to achieve. I said in that video, I said in the next 15 years, I will be 60. There are so many things I want to do. And I feel like I really want to invest my time doing those things. Let me leave that aside. I never believe that custody should be a woman's thing. I believe that whatever parents can do it. Another thing that is interesting is how there are actually some parents that choose not to be present parents. That the woman is even making children available. It is the fathers or the mothers in whatever case that are not their children are available to them, but they are not. But I really want to emphasize on the importance of making the children a priority. I listened to this daddy free, st uh, daddy free story, and I wanted to come and talk about it because it is happening a lot. And the people that are really suffering are the children. He also talked about his ex-wife poisoning his children's hearts against him. Why? What would anybody gain? The relationship between the children and their father is separate from the relationship between the father and their mother. And the difference between the relationship between the children and their mother. They are not, con I don't know how to say, this relationship stands on their own. The one between them and their mother and the one between them and their father, nobody should be cutting off the other ones. Anyways, I just wanted to quickly come and share because I feel like it happens a lot. And recently I talked about uh, FFK and then I heard this one and, and I just said, let me quickly make a video about it. At the end of the day, parents should do their best for their children. They don't focus their energy on the hatred they have for each other. They should focus it on the love they have for their child. That, that is definitely the, the way forward. For the best interest of the children is the most important thing. That's how I feel about it. As always, whatever your opinions are, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. With that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.